Hi, this is Astrid and welcome to Quick Tips. Today's Quick Tips is a response to one of my viewers, Randall Kent. He wanted to know if you happen to know of a way to use Luna to sum channels down on the way into logic. For instance, if I'm using three and four mic inputs on a source, but want to sum them down to one stereo track in logic. So my first thoughts were that, hey, maybe you can uh, send those out to the virtual channels one and two or three and four. But after doing some further investigation, I found that you can't do that. Um, not sure why it's a regular channel like all of the others, but apparently there is a, a limitation in what you can send to um, from these mic channels. Um, so, but what I was able to do is I can bus it out. So I created a send and I'm, I created a bus channel and my bus channel is bus one. And here's the bus channel here. Um, I don't have it outputted to anything, but I want to show you something. So I'm going to go to the, um, input output matrix in the settings and let's take a look at this. So the buses are actually bussed out to an auxiliary channel. So in this case, it would be 29 and 30. So let's just remember that. So if you go over to the control room and you look at the trim, um, you can adjust the trim settings for it. And also, if you're just used to the, using the old console, let's open up the old console. We can actually see the meters. I wish they would have added meters to it. Um, it's nice to know if you have signal path going on there. So let me just kind of do some noise for my open mic that I've got going on. And this is from looking at the aux. And this is, again, in the regular old console um, that actually has the... Uh, the uh, VU strip where you can see what's happening. So also uh, one thing that you probably really need to be uh, mindful of, um, right now I have my console outside of the console tracking mode, meaning that Luna has complete 100% control of it. So any of my settings that I've uh, created within it are transferred into Luna, um, but it also mutes some of your channels. So if you noticed um, how it's muting this channel, I, I didn't do that on purpose. Um, that's just something that happens when it's in that mode. But if you go to the transport pull down menu and you select console tracking mode, it takes all of that away and it gives control back to the console um, so that you can um, not worry about things being um, muted. Um, again, uh, you can still utilize these inserts on the aux channel like you normally would. And that's another, uh, kind of a limitation that I saw in Luna is that in the aux tram or in the aux area, um, there's some things that are missing. You can't put inserts in there. Um, you can put them in on your, your bus. So I guess it really doesn't matter. You don't have to do that. You can, when you're creating your bus, you can put your inserts there, um, so that was quite interesting. So now that we have established that we can bus it, now we need to bring it over into Logic. So over in Logic, I'm using channels 29 and 30 uh, for my import source. And that's where the aux is. And let me just do my little test here so you can see the input. So I am getting input. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and record that. Okay, so as you can see, I have waveforms there. Again, you can take both of the mic channels and bust them out into a single bus. And in this case, the bus uh, channel ports are 29 and 30. If you create another bus, it's going to be um, more than likely, let's go back and look at the routing. Um, the other set of aux ports is um, 31 and 32. 
Um, you can continue to create more aux ports, it looks like. Well, hmm, let's see if there's a limitation. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's a limitation. Um, but I think there is a setting, if I'm not mistaken, on how many aux ports you can have. Let me go back and look at the old console. Um, let's go back and look in here. I remember seeing some settings somewhere at some point on how many auxiliaries that I want to be able to have. And I'm trying to remember where it is. Let's see here. Ah, here we are. Yep, you're limited to two. Um, and I'm sure this is in the menu. Let me go back into Luna. Um, I'm still uh, learning to navigate uh, Luna the same way. So yeah, so it's under hardware and here's your aux channel count. So you're limited to two with the Apollo 8. I'm sure if I had additional Apollos attached and I'd have more aux ports because I would be able to use the auxiliaries from the other units. But um, for um, the, um, the smaller units, I'm not sure how those are set up. Um, I'm pretty sure they probably have a, a, cup, a pair of lock of aux ports as well. Um, well, that's all I have for this quick tip. And if you're liking the content, please um, subscribe and like. And if you have any questions, or comments, please leave it in the comment section and I'll see you on the next one.